Um, I know it's a little dark in my car right now. Let me see if I can turn on some light, give us some light. Um, this is going to be in Patois, Jamaican, um, Patois, and um, a little American. Sorry about the light up, up there, but I had to. This is so important, guys. If you ever suffer narcissistic abuse or you don't know what it is, and um, maybe her story could uh, give you a little light highlight into what's going on in your life, okay? And I'm going to break it down a little bit for you guys right now um, because I am... Um, this triggered me, you know what I mean? Uh, so her name is Wally British, okay? And um, apparently she was in a narcissistic uh, relationship. And of course, she's uh, being in the devaluation stage right now. And uh, wow, I was just driving and I, you know, I like to listen to YouTube when I'm driving home. So I was just driving and this story triggered the hell out of me, okay? So um, I, I want you guys, I'm going to break it down as she's talking. But if you are suffering uh, narcissistic abuse, there's four cycle. Uh, love bombing, devaluation, a discard, and hoovering, and sometimes stalking as well. Okay, so I'm going to, um, as I'm playing it, I'm going to break it down for you guys a little bit, okay? So could I get myself in a door, God? What is this me? Could I get myself? Oh, me find myself. Yes, a boy, I mean, I know. Oh, me find myself, yes, I mean, I know. And I mean, I mean, I'm a friend at this point. With the whole situation, my own man friend, they then get tired of them back way. Them back way, friend, no, nobody, me not have nobody. Some people get tired of it. No one have to deal with it. So, me not have nobody. Me... Okay. So, again, this lady is a blogger, a comedian. And um, she's going through narcissistic abuse. Of course, she went through the love bomb. She's she not even talking about the love bomb because... She's right now in the devaluation stage, okay? And she's actually discarding him. But what she needs to know, she has to stay in known contact. This guy is threatening her life, saying he's going to kill her. And she's a public figure, so she had to come and, and talk about it, you know? So uh, what she's saying right now is that um, none of her friends don't believe her. Um, because, you know, you have narcissistic friends as well. They all stick up for each other. But none of her friends don't believe her. She feels like she's all alone. This is all part of the cycle, guys. All part of the cycle. This story is so upsetting. I've heard numerous stories, but this one is like, oh, oh my God. Because like where I'm from in Jamaica, listen, women are being beheaded. Okay? And I'm, I, I'm not glad about her story, but I'm glad that the narcissistic story is being highlighted because it needs to stop. People need to be, they need to be held accountable. I don't know what they're going to do because there's a lot of them in society, but they need to be held accountable. They're, they're damaging not only you in a relationship with them, but also the children. It's horrible. Me no have no body. Me no have. More than the two people in my mind take up on the head for the side so they may follow me come home at night time. And these days when me go a road a two women follow me come home at night time. Two women. The last time me go a road and the two women, them have two girls, them may follow me come home. My conscience right. So listen, when I, when I see this lady, she's in parties. You know, when you go to parties, people buy bottles, all of that. So when she's up high, everything, everybody is um following her everything now she need a little help nobody to be found only two of her female friends but that's what happened guys when you get in hot water you know who your friends are me come here said to myself say you know say me not feel good for them two girl here alone i follow me come home because bad to bad me know they're not strapped and if the if, if this young man mental like oh he might talk to be and how he might pretend to be if he not real if, 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 if them come at me and him feel like it's a night when I walk out and can't f*** all away. So it's just like, you just imagine that me I think to myself, say, is it the, Kali, Kali back out for me in the situation, Pemrose. Now ask me about Kali. Kali back out and Ooh. sell out for me in the whole situation. Back out, sell, Kali a coward. Kali a coward from day one, so me can't even blame him. Kali can't manage them as team, so Kali himself get freed, boy. And true Kali freed, boy, Kali come with the excuse, them all. Boy, I say, yeah, I'm in a business, see, we am boy. Well, well, actually, she's talking talking about um like all her friends are not talking to her right now she only got the two friends but her, her sparring p which is a good friend of hers he just don't want to get involved you know what i mean people don't want people are losing their lives out here but anyway anybody going through nar narcissistic abuse uh contact safe horizon safe horizon that org um they definitely help me come to change your lock uh they will move you to another state that will get you counseling they got a lot of resources over there okay guys 
Uh, just look for help. But whatever you do, don't kill yourself. Anyway, she has a child as well. And, you know, that's why, woman, we got to be careful who we bring into our household. We really got to be careful um, of these guys. We got to vet them. But, you know, we all know with the narcissistic abusive thing, it's so hard because they they conceal their, their true self. They conceal it and they send their fake self, their fake image. You know what I mean? So it's very hard to detect because I was in a 25-year relationship. I had no clue. You know what I'm saying? Until... He lost his job and started showing his true colors. That's when I found out. Listen, it's just horrible, guys. Horrible. Why I say I ain't even a busy. All I want me to go to. So I that with my friend then do. So Kali is a waste loser call. Kali is a waste. You cannot call him there around me again. Because I'm reach to the point to tell Kali if he does, does go on for around me for good. Because if, if, if you are my one dieted friend with me and you come from Wapi Kill Philip, you not stand up with me in a no time of blood clot need. So dear, dear and they never bring up Kali. But that's it. You know, that's been her friend for a while. But the thing is, um, you don't even know if he's a narcissist too, because they stick together. You narcissistic people stick together. A narcissist know another narcissist. They know each other. They speak their own little language, okay? But narcissistic abuse is a very, very lonely abuse, guys. Very, very lonely. Um, you might think your friend is your friend, but when you're going through it, you're going to see you don't got a lot of friends. It's very lonely. That's why when you are going through narcissistic abuse, you got to get spiritually connected. That's the only thing, the man above, that's going to help you. The only thing. She's wake now. She's wake. Ali, he a waste a time to this. He a waste a time to this. Before Kali help Kali, because where young man did I do in I force, you know? When the young man did that doing I first I try to really make it look like say me and him still in a business or me and him whatever whatever he's doing. If me and you are friend and me I tell you where happened to me, not tell me where boy I tell you. Not tell okay, so now she's talking about the smear campaign. So the, the, the abuser is going around telling her friend and her friend, they tell you this happens all the time. Her friend, it happens to me. My mother believed my narcissist over me, and that's my mom. So Who's her friend? You know what I mean? So her friend believe, her friend believe, um, my God, her friend believe, um, the, the abuser. He believed her because guess what? You know, narcissists, they abuse you behind closed door. They skin their teeth. They smile up, um, and, and the public, you think they're so sweet. Oh man. They, 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 they're very devious, very devious. So this is her experience, guys. She's just one of the story. So many of us are going through these stories out here. So many of us. She's crying. She got her kids. Let me let you listen to a little bit more. Tell me where I want to move. My boy comfortable in that place. I do him. I do him work from home. Figure go left now. Figure go smart the place. Work. So then can't put you up. Look a bit. Figure go catch up. Me number one. Me can't live in nobody's space. Me no one up and go rent somewhere now. But either way, take it this week. Now I don't have me a sleep in here. But you understand me, wish me could have company in my place like a man. No man, me no have no serious man. No man no got me. Me come down, me come down and boil down to no, no serious bucket if me no have. No well, serious. She don't know, she don't have no friends now. All, all the, all those people that was, um, hanging out with her when she was going up, up, up now, none of them is to be found. But anyway, what she's saying is that her, um, she has a son. He works from home. Um, if you you could go listen to her story, her name is Brit um, Wally British. It's a Jamaican like a comedian slash blog blogger. But um, listen, guys, it's just so rough. She's saying that she's gonna have to leave her home, everything, run and leave her house with her kid. is so comfortable. If you go and listen to the story more, she's gonna t go ahead and talk more about how. Um, she lives by herself. I don't even think she should be giving out that information. You got to be careful what you say in public. But she says she lived by herself. She described her home, which is another danger. She's saying that in her house, um, it's like glass doors that could be kicked off, shoot off. So, you know, she just got to protect herself. She also mentioned that she um, she had to go and get a restraining order and the abuser couldn't believe that she did that. Well, I can't believe you said you're going to kill me. How about that? You know, so, and she, she was crying saying that if she died xyz but you know you got to speak life into your in, into your life you got to speak life 
You know what I'm saying? Into your situation. You got to speak life because everything is in your tongue. Your word has power in it. It says that in the Bible. You understand me? Life and life and death is in the tongue. Okay? But um, I just I just want to say a prayer for her right now, you know. Mighty God, protect uh, Wally British. Protect her right now. Protect her right now, oh, Father God. Remove the demon. Remove the demon from around her, oh, Father God. Protect her. God up her household, her windows, her door, her heart. God, her heart in the name of Jesus. Let the abuser turn away from her. Let him turn away. Let him change his mind. Let a situation happen that take him away from her, oh, Father God. Remove him. Separate him in the name of Jesus Separate that demon, separate that serpent, Se separate Jezebel out of her life in the name of Jesus. We got to pray for each other, guys. In the name of Jesus, I pray for all, you know, October is a uh, domestic violence month. And I pray for everyone experiencing um, domestic violence, uh, abuser. We pray for them as well, that they could get help. God could redeem them in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we just trying to highlight these people in the name of Jesus. Highlight them that they should be exposed. They should be exposed. Let the government do something about these people because too many people are dying. Oh my God, too many people are dying. We just want to ask to pray in the name of Jesus. Guide and protect everyone experiencing that this hideous abuse in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. So, you know, I, I want to also talk about, this is how serious this abuse is, guys. Remember, uh, Chris Watts, he killed his whole entire family. He killed his three children. One of them was, you know, she was the, the wife was pregnant when um he decided to kill his whole family. And um just for a mistress. For for pleasure. You know what I'm saying? You lost your whole beautiful family. You lost um four lives just because of um of um sexual pleasure. You live in carnal minded. You understand? Anybody live in carnal, your life is death. Live in the spirit and you shall have life. Romans uh, 6, 8. Okay? So, um, uh, Scott Peterson killed his, uh, his child's mother as well. So much death. Just recently, there was a young girl, uh, 18 years old, committed suicide. She probably was suffering through some depression. Left her two children. If this continue, I don't know what's going to happen to society because this is a generational curse. If we are so broken, if we are so broken, what's going to happen to the children? They're going to be savages. They're going to just be killing each other. There will be no love. So we got to put a stop on this. But everybody just, they're lovers of money. Lovers of money. They love too much money. You know what I'm saying? What about human life? You understand what I'm saying? Is this what society has came to? Anyway, guys, I just really wanted to bring this story to you guys. You know, just be blessed. Thank you very much. Share your story. Comment. Comment. Share your story, guys. You got to speak up. You, this, we got to get this word out here. This is ridiculous. Too much people are dying. We got to get this word out. If you are, don't just watch. If you will um, suffer through narcissistic abuse, your story, somebody's waiting to hear your story. Remember, I could say it one way. Uh, another coach could say it another way. But your story somebody is waiting to hear from you so tell your story and also when you tell your story you back that abuser up back him all the way up expose him expose that demon okay the blood of jesus